you guys so I received some products a couple weeks ago from a young lady named Ebony Tyson and she is the you know the owner of a online makeup site um, it's really really new it just launched on July 31st of this year and the name of her cosmetics line is Ebony Cosmetics. Now, um, in the last couple of tutorials, I have been using um, some products that I received from her company, and um, I also use it on a few of my clients just for, you know, to see how it wears, demonstrational purposes, and all that, just to make sure I can give you guys a full, thorough review. And as always, I want to be 100% honest in you know, what I look for in cosmetics, um, the pros, the cons, and all that stuff. I always encourage you guys, I'm going to say this one way or another, either out of my mouth or somewhere as an annotation in this tutorial, um, in this review, to do your own research, you know, gather your own pros and cons, see what's worth it for you to do um, a purchase with any of these websites or any of these companies that I mentioned, and you know, let the choice be yours, but do tons and tons of research. That's what I always encourage you guys to do. Now, this particular company is a makeup company that is geared um, more towards women of color it does not mean that young ladies or women of color can um, women who are not of color I guess doesn't mean that they can't purchase products from her of course um, but it is a product line that is specifically geared towards us with us in mind and that's pretty much in terms of just the shades that she has on her website different kind of finishes different kind of ingredients um, that she has in her products and all those things you know just considering women of color and how our skin you know kind of picks up light picks up color and loves color in all honesty we can really wear any color can't say that enough um, what I received from her were six pigments one blush and one lipstick so I'll go over these pigments really quickly the first pigment that I got is a pigment called Blue Lagoon. But Blue Lagoon is a beautiful pigment that is sort of a turquoisey sea blue. I use this eyeshadow in my um, turquoise and gold look, the second edition, part two, and I really love it. It has a beautiful shimmery sheen. All of these pigments that I received are super shimmery. I'm not quite sure if she carries matte pigments right now on her website. Definitely check it out. Um, I know that she's making additions, you know, fairly often right now since it just launched um, a little less than a month ago. But this is a really beautiful blue. I will have swatches at the end of the video as well as on my vlog, so don't worry about that. The next color, which um, is another pigment called Avocado Girl, Avocado Twist. Sorry. An Avocado Twist is, it looks like a muddy green on the outside, but as you like shake it around, it's really, 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 really beautiful. Shimmery, has a lot of gold reflexes, has hints of blues in it, just very, the tiniest hints. Um, it's super shiny, that I can't stress that enough, and it's super gorgeous on the lids, like it's out of control. I love that color. Another color that I received is a pigment called Goldilocks. And Goldilocks, can you guys see that? I don't think. Goldilocks is a pigment that is really a cream color with a lot of gold reflexes in it heavenly shimmery. I love it. I can definitely use it as a highlighting color, a standalone highlighting color, or I can just pat on a matte um, cream color in my brow bone area and then sheer over the Goldilocks and it just makes it kind of reflex like crazy. It's really beautiful, but it definitely is a standalone kind of highlighting color. 
The next color is Penny Lane. And Penny Lane is just that. It's like a copper penny color. Also very shimmery. I'm actually using a little bit of that in this look today. The next color I got was Wine. And I don't have too much. I have it more in the top right here. You guys can't see it that much. But Wine is a beautiful, like, shimmery cherry red eyeshadow um it's really the predominant lid color that i have on right now and it's super 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 beautiful i love 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 this color it is just the most beautiful red and it's so shimmery and the last pigment that i received is a pigment called cloud nine and cloud nine is a pigment that i haven't went into yet um i don't know i think that i kind of mistakenly put this to the side while I was swatching so I'm going to go ahead and try to swatch it and I just picked it up on the tip of my finger it's really pretty I'm just going to shimmer it on like that it's a really pretty white color but it's super shimmery it can also act as a highlight as well especially for the inner tear duct um, between this and the Goldilocks, these are like really, really good inner tear duct colors as well as highlighting colors. Now the blush that I received is a blush called Ambition and it's a really, really exciting blush. It's a pearlescent blush and it comes in this tube, I mean, in this package right here. Um, and it's kind of similar to cotton candy. That's the best way I can describe it. Okay, I'm going to swatch it right next to Cloud9 even though you guys can't really get the full essence of it. But it's a really beautiful, sheeny kind of pink and purple and green. It has all these weird iridescence to it. It's a perfect kind of, I would say, highlighting color um, for the high planes of your cheeks, definitely over your blush to just bring a beautiful glow to any kind of matte finish or satin finish blush. Um, I definitely use this in combination of some kind of existing kind of standalone blush, but in my opinion, this is not really a standalone blush. It's definitely a pearlescent blush, so um, that's why the effects of like the duo tones, not even duo tones, but just different kind of tones in this one shade is present because it's just like a pearlescent finish. And the last product that I received is a lipstick. And this lipstick is called Barbie. And this is a really beautiful purplish pink color. It looks purplish pink in the tube. And I just swatched it on. As you can see, it has like, it's like a magenta pink color. It's really, really pretty. And it's highly pigmented. All right. So let me get into the pros and cons of the makeup that I received or this makeup line in general. Again, this makeup line just launched July 31st, so it's fairly new. Um, the young lady that is the owner of this company has been a makeup artist for a number of years, worked with a prior company and decided, you know, with all the knowledge that she was able to gain throughout her career thus far, she wanted to venture out and create a makeup line that was, you know, very specific, professional grade and all that. On the pro side and on the surface, I really like the packaging. These packagings are not so um, unique. It's not like out of the box. Um, you've seen packages like this before, the little tubing, I mean the little containers with the black tops and all that. But I like it as far as like a how as a makeup artist I could have these products sitting alone in my station or in my makeup studio on the shelves and it looks clean, streamlined, and professional. So I would definitely have like these products on my feature wall in my studio. So that's what I look for. Doesn't matter that it's not entirely unique. I just think that this is a really safe kind of route to go. It's not too specific. It's not too out of, um, out of the box or whatever and that's fine. Another thing that I like a lot, and I'll pan in, is I like her logo. And it's pretty much Avony spelled out, but the I is a lipstick. 
and I just think it's super cute. It's unique enough to kind of set herself apart from different makeup companies, but it's also still professional. So it's not like an overwhelming and over intimidating kind of logo, and I think that that's you know pretty dope. If her goal is to kind of attract a more, I would say, um, specific clientele or you know then she's definitely going to gain a lot of people just on appearances alone. And I'm going to keep it real. Appearances does matter. Packaging does matter. Um, the lipsticks that she carries right now, um, not to knock her, these are lipsticks that I have seen before. Um, so obviously a lot of companies are using um, similar kind of private labels to kind of store their you know some of their makeup products and in some cases all of their makeup products which is fine that's what private labels are for private labels are for you to obtain certain shades and makeup and kind of you know put your name on it and in some cases if some companies are fortunate enough to afford it they can actually customize their own colors and shades and stuff so just because you can see the same packaging doesn't automatically mean oh that's the exact same product in some cases it is the case but in in other cases that's not necessarily true some companies um, can buy from private labels and kind of customize their own shades and make sure that it has certain ingredients and all that um, but I had to say that when I see this box and when I seen this lipstick I've seen this lipstick tubing a time before with uh, other companies both in my Sephora my Ulta as well as like you know smaller companies that are centrally based on the World Wide Web. Um, that didn't throw me off at all. Good product is good product no matter where you got it from. Um, and in my opinion, this is a really great lipstick. I tried this on a client of mine. I also tried it on myself and kind of wore it for an extended amount of time. Not with the completed makeup look, not with the tutorial, just for the sake to see how it wears. Because in most cases, lip colors and like lipsticks, lip glosses are really, really hard to get just right. You don't want it too sticky. Even when it's matte, you don't want it too drying. Um, you know, when it has certain finishes, you still want to be able to get as much color as possible you want to get the color as close to how it looks in the tube as humanly possible and this lipstick right here this Barbie is highly pigmented it goes on super smooth it's a beautiful color the fact that it has purple and pink in it is awesome because it's just kind of a three-dimensional color it's not sort of flat so you can do a lot of things with it you can um, use different liner choices to kind of bring out certain shades in that color and I think that that's awesome that you know um, one lipstick can give you a lot of options in terms of the actual products itself the pigments in my opinion are really great pigments as far as the color and the wear when I kind of swatched it on my hands though it kind of felt a little grainy and I think the graininess of it all really comes into play in regards to just the the fillers and the mixtures that they have um, or that she has in this to make it as shimmery and shiny as it is sometimes to get a certain formulation and a certain finish you have to mix some things together and the after effect of it all is it may have a, a different kind of feel than you're used to um, I can tell you that in the, in terms of the Blue Lagoon avocado twist um, the wine and the Penny Lane pigments, they were super smooth and the pigmentation was out of control. There was no graininess. But in terms of the lighter pigments, the Goldilocks as well as the Cloud Nine, they are super, super like glittery or super shiny. And unfortunately, they have a little bit of a grainy feel to it. Is it so grainy that I'm not going to ever use it? No, it's not enough for me. It's enough for me to notice because I'm swatching it on my hands, but it's not enough to deter me from using these shades and picking up similar tone shades. But if you guys are curious about what are you know what are in her pigments, what she mixes it with, she has all the ingredients on the back of this container on all of her containers. So the ingredients that she uses is mica, iron oxides, titanium dioxides, and it says it may contain femic, what is this? Ferrocytonine. I messed up the name. I'm going to have all the ingredients right here. Um, it has the distribution company 
it's distributed by Abony Cosmetics as well as her, a link to her website. So that's a lot of information on the back of this pigment and I think that that's super professional. If I know what I'm putting on my face, I know what it may contain and does contain, I can make a conscious decision on whether or not I'm going to use it because as an individual I know what works well for my skin. So um, the fact that she puts a lot of information on her products gets a gold star for me. Oh, one last point. Her actual visibility. The actual website is a really beautiful, professional, streamlined, you know, website. Uh, a similar kind of website that you would think of or, or keep in mind when you're thinking of, you know, professional grade cosmetics. You're thinking about NARS, MAC, I hate to throw out these names all the time, but you know, that's what comes to mind. NARS, MAC, um, even Sephora, um, Black Up Cosmetics, they have a very beautiful professional line to Inglot. They have kind of a similar page um, or a similar trend to their page, like a black background, very streamlined lettering, very powerful images, but very minimum frills and, and decorations, I guess, so to speak, on their site, which is fine too. It's okay to have like fun and crazy kind of things on your website because it shows you and your company and your product as an individual. So if all those crazy images really reflect the company, the product line, and the products, you know, um, that are within that product line, that's totally fine. Um, but again, I think that based on the visibility of her actual website, um, she's probably trying to attract more of just a different kind of clientele, clientele of definitely professional makeup artists as well as consumers that want to be confident, 100% um, confident in the, in the products that they receive. Those are all the pros, all those things to consider, you guys. Woman of color, beautiful products, lots of information, um, professional interface. You know what I'm saying? What more can you ask for? Well, how much does it cost? Okay. Cost, 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 cost. Cost, 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 cost. Um, with all things considered, being that she's a newer company, is not really established, um, not a lot of people know her name, so to speak, and that does matter. Word of mouth is a powerful thing. Like, it can make you or it can break you, especially in a super saturated, you know, industry such as cosmetics. Right. <laughs> um, the company, no, it's just a very saturated industry. Anybody who, you know, puts in a Google search bar cosmetics will get a slew of companies both known or unknown both you know department store brands professional brands um, exclusive brands and all that you're going to get all kinds of pop-ups or um, you know links to different sites so it's a very saturated industry and for the or for the amount of products that she is sending out there and on the sheer fact that she's not really known um, it's my personal opinion that some of her products are priced a little high um, do I after trying these products think that they are worth the investment um, with all those things considered like what I just named off, me personally and me being a woman of color, I like to kind of cater to companies that cater to me. So I have the impression that this company is catering to me. Um, I wouldn't mind spending the extra coins. That's just me. But I am conscious enough to know that you can get similar quality, if not dead on same quality pigments, probably more, you know, probably more shades and more different finishes for dollars less. So I do think that probably the way that she has it priced at this point, um, having a certain disadvantage of not really being known is a little bit overzealous. And I'm just trying to be as, you know, diplomatic about it as possible because with that being said, again, I would still purchase from this company. If I came, if I came upon this website and I checked it out, I would definitely, at the very least, invest in some samples so that I can see how their products, how her products wears and, and all that stuff. I would test the customer service. I would be like a secret mole and definitely test like the shipping time and all that. But at the end of the day, you know, if I'm satisfied and I say, hmm, I think I want to purchase a full size from this company, I 
I would go ahead and spend my coins because me personally, like I feel like department store or a lot of professional brand cosmetics, like I'm, you know, I'm just dollars and cents to them anyway. It, it's just, it, it's not going to make a difference. They're going to still continue to make their money. You know, it's a lot of companies that charge outrageous amounts of money just behind their namesake and whatever celebrity endorsements they have. So I'm not going to let that be the determining factor as to whether or not these, you know, other companies can produce quality cosmetics. So again, I look at it in a different mindset, um, but I'm not going to knock anybody else, such as you gals. If you go over to the website and check it out, you might be like, Ugh. you know, for what she's charging, I could probably go somewhere that's a little known. Um, I'm going to talk to her about it. I, you know, I'm just going to bring that information to her because I just feel like it's probably, it's part of my duty to kind of re report the news, so to speak, of, you know, how I feel about the company as a whole and the products that I received and also speaking from a consumer standpoint and let her, you know, do with the information what she sees is most beneficial to her business because I don't know what her internal customer base is like. Just because she launched a couple weeks ago doesn't mean that she doesn't have thousands of customers just waiting, you know, that was just waiting in the, you know, backwoods um, for her website to launch and is genuinely, you know, just paying that money. So I don't want it to be so much of a deterrent that she wants to go and, you know, flip stuff on her website. But I do want to make her aware that um, this may be something that will hold some people back from being curious about it. With that being said, if this company does offer like samples, if this customer um, offers first time buyer kind of coupons, you can get like free shipping or a couple of bucks off of your entire purchase kind of things to, to kind of draw people in and maybe allow them to try your products without being thrown off by the price. Then if you stand by your products and your products is quality, they're going to come back anyway. That's just my belief. Um, but that's honestly the only pro that I have against this company right now. Um, and, and that's it, you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to do a follow-up review after I speak with Miss Ebony Tyson and, um, you know, see what her response is and let you guys know about all that. But at the end of the day, I was really impressed by these um, pigments. I definitely used, I used a lot of these pigments, like, a whole lot um, amongst my clients. Like, my clients... Most of my clients go goo goo gaga over this blue lagoon. Like, I don't know what it is with turquoise in this season, but everybody is just like really loving the blues and the greens and stuff. So, that is it, you guys. I rambled on. So, yep, um, I hope that you enjoyed this review. Um, I hope you learned something from it. I definitely hope that you check out Abony Cosmetics. Hit her up. Um, read up on this cosmetics line if you guys have already experienced a purchase from this website. Um, go ahead and share your experience with this. Share your opinions about this. Um, I want to open the floor to you guys. Um, after checking out that website, give me your general or um, initial impression by the interface of it, the whole look of it, um, all the information that's on the website, and go ahead and list as like a blind sort of mole customer um, what you like or dislike about this site. Um, I know that my reviews are not really prompted to do this, but again, I don't get paid to do these reviews. I do receive products, but I could, you know, keep the products or I can throw them away. Like, I can keep the products or I can throw them away. Um, I'm actually, in my opinion, is I'm a fish... I'm essentially paying for these products by, you know, going through the swatches and going through the research and reporting to you guys my opinion, um, and that's worth something. So um, I'm just going to kind of flip it up, just flip the script a little bit and invite you guys to check out her website, check out everything that she has to offer, and comment below um, your general impression of this website, and yeah. I think that's just about it. Um, as always, shop wisely, divas. Um, check out my full review and swatches on my blog, and that is Glam Scam Artist with an S. Dot WordPress.com. And until next time, I will talk to you later, divas. Bye.